sad. So sad, really. I mean, the band is called Sad. It comes from uh, Greece. This is kind of a name that would totally push you in the wrong direction, at least if you're thinking about it for a while. I mean, Sad isn't really a name that might indicate a black metal one, let alone a quality one from any country. To be honest, I had a little bit of prejudice, like what would be sad music be like, because to me it just brings, I don't know, some gothic metal into my mind and I couldn't have been more wrong with the one. Now, obviously I do know that this bad is not gothic metal, that is prior to listening to this one because I've heard the name throughout the years but I don't think I ever actually heard the band until I got this latest one Misty Breath of Ancient Forests for a review released by P. Ready Through Fire and um, because of that I really had no idea how well of a band I mean um, how well music they're doing, how good music they're doing, how well they would be performing their black metal. I'm a little bit uh, messed with my head and words right now, you can see, I'm here. Anyway, this two-man band uh, proved to be a very, very different type of black metal than what I had in mind, but can't really complain. This album is very good. And the style, should we say, genre, would be something like melodic, black metal with a touch of atmospheric melancholy, melancholic atmosphere. Doesn't matter which way you put it anyway, that's the style. Now here on the metal band's Metal Archive site, you will find obviously the basic information found in 2005, quite a few albums since that, this being their seventh full album, but there are quite a few split albums. And uh, it seems this band has been very consistent with its music, given that it's just two members no previous members, no lineup changes whatsoever, at least not officially known. So two guys doing their black metal together and more than 15 years now. Now, Misty Breath came out in late 2020 and as such, it's been uh, in queue for quite some while. Now, this 54 minutes of an album boasts some rather lengthy uh, songs. And in case you've been following the channel for some quite quite some time now you know that I'm a little bit allergic to many bands that have these lengthier songs and the reason is this it's very simple really most bands are not able to do very good songs that last so many minutes change my mind I mean it doesn't even matter what the style is whether we're talking about black metal doom metal death metal trash metal heavy metal most bands are not able to keep the interest for five six seven minutes let alone anything more than that. Obviously, there are exceptions to this rule, obviously. And it, of course, depends on the genre. I mean, it's more likely for some 7-minute 2 metal album or song to be more interesting than, say, a trash anthem. But be it as it may, it doesn't matter what the genre is, when I see track lists with such track lengths, I'm already like, okay, this is one of those bands that is just falling way too much in love with their own ideas keeping it, repeating those mediocre riffs and melodies until you just start to hate the band. Maybe not hate, but creating sort of a dislike. So Sad is very different in that respect, because even though with these six to nine minute tracks, they're able to keep your interest up all the time throughout these 54 minutes, which is in fact way too much for many albums. They're able to just keep the atmosphere all the time engaging. They have the certain kind of atmosphere, which is not all the way melancholic, yet there are parts of that a lot. And these melodies where they're not nothing like your typical Hellenic band, you know, the kind of a Greek sound of black metal, which most of the bands from Greece is, are known. And as such, this more like sounds quite Finnish, in fact. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys were like a lot of inspired by, say, bands such as Satanic Warmaster, and other bands in that territory, be it Goat Moon, Seal on the and the like. Now, I'm not saying they are copycats. I'm just pointing out that their style is rather Finnish type of melodic. And for people who just love Finnish black metal, well, I wouldn't be surprised if they very much 
fell in love with this particular album. Now, what also strikes me is that the band is able to not only keep the atmosphere very, very interesting and engaging, but also have the production and vocals very much fitting right there. And overall, making this album very interesting all the way from the very end to the very, big, or the very beginning to the very end. And also able to uh, engage the, the audience right at the very first time. I mean, some albums are kind of a growers. You need quite a few listens to figure it out. Okay, this is my cup of tea. But in my opinion, Sad really seems to be doing that, you know, creating that interest with the very first spin. You don't even have to finish the album to figure out, okay, this is a very good one. So um, I was really, really satisfied getting this into uh, review because like I said, I had a little bit lower expectations. I had a little bit of prejudice. And as such, this became very, very positive surprise. Like everything is right there. Now I'm not gonna uh, claim that this is one of the best albums of 2020, but this definitely belongs to the better parts of albums 2020, black metal or otherwise. So had this become for for me um, in 2020, it might have been on the big list of best albums of 2020, even if not being on the top 10 or so. Um, be it as it may, this is an album you should be taking a listen that is, if you're like melodic black metal, to begin with. Uh, very, very nice work overall, so give it a chance. You'll find uh, links provided, and obviously if you like the album, go for Purity Through Fire's web shop and give this one a go. Thank you for watching. Should you have comments or questions, put them on the comments box below. Take care.